Welcome back everyone. I'm Jason Jensen and you're watching Jason Jensen Trains. Well, I have kind of a quick video for you today showing you how I make a rope bridge uh, for my harbor scene. Uh, but first, I want to point out that I have made some changes to the lighting in my basement. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, my previous videos to me seemed really blue. The lighting seemed really blue. And I have three uh, fluorescent tube fixtures and um, they had bright white fluorescent tubes in them. And it almost put off kind of a bluish tint. Um, so what I did was I went and bought some fluorescent tubes that um, have a yellow tint to them. They're kind of a softer light with a warm tint. And so I took out one of the white ones in each fixture and put in the yellow. So now there's a white one and a yellow in each fixture. Um, and then what I want to do is invest some money into track lighting on the ceiling to fully light this. So I, hopefully you can tell a difference. Um, go back and watch my previous video and then watch this one and, and let me know if the lighting seems different to you. Uh, I'm hoping it's a little... I'm hoping it's better. It's not as blue and not quite as blown out. So let's head over to the workbench and I'll show you how to make a rope bridge. So today we're at the workbench working on a bridge. A bridge that will be for um, small HO scale figures to cross. And for reference, we are using pictures from this book right here and this is from part two and here is the bridge that we're going to be making so i've drawn a pattern i actually drew one for each side um, and I've already made, I've already made one side. So now we're going to make the other side and I'm going to show you how I did this. Um, it's not easy at all. <laughs> it's actually pretty difficult. Um, it really just takes uh, patience. That's all. So we're going to tape down some wax paper over our drawing. Make sure that your wax paper is completely flat. Now I have my pieces cut and I cut them longer so that when I hang this bridge I can wrap it around the posts that are already in place on the layout. Now, and we'll just tape this down so it doesn't move on us. And I have all of my pieces that go up and down all cut. So everything's cut and ready to go. Now the first thing we have to do is take our long pieces and I'm using 50-50, which is half water, half glue. And just putting a little bit on there, grabbing one end of the long piece, and running it through so that it's completely soaked. And now we're just laying it on the wax paper and creating that curved shape. If the bridge was straight, 
I think this would be a lot easier, but I actually want it to have a little bit of a sag to it. I think it's going to help it look a little bit more realistic. But, you know, we'll see. This is I've never done this before, so <laughs> this is brand new to me. Okay, so again, we're soaking, getting the rope completely soaked. I think by having it droop down a little bit and have a, a little bit of a sag to it, it'll help it look more realistic and make it look like there's actually some weight to it once I get all the, the planks glued on it. Okay, so that is about the best I can do as far as getting the shape. Okay, now for the part that really takes some patience. I'm going to use super glue. And we'll pick up a piece. Hopefully this side goes better since I've already done one. <laughs> the first side was got kind of frustrating. Not bad. You can see I'm using uh, pointy tweezers. And really just soaking the ends with the super glue. Okay, so far it's actually going pretty good. I suppose if you wanted to actually tie little knots, um, you could. <laughs> I have patience, but I don't think I have that kind of patience. And then you always want to make sure you wipe any glue off of your tweezers because otherwise the little rope here will stick to your tweezers. I am such a huge fan of the Indiana Jones movies. Um, I just think Steven Spielberg and George Lucas are just amazing amazing people uh the things that they did especially back then there was not all the cgi that we have now uh models had to be made this bridge the bridge that i showed you in that book actually had to be built for the movie it wasn't that they found a bridge somewhere they actually built it on location. Sorry, this one's not cooperating. Okay, we're going to have to... Uh, there must have been a little bit of glue on my tweezers because it's just wanting to stick. Okay, so next I'm going to attempt to peel this off of the wax paper. I'm going very slow, very gentle don't want it to break and there we are okay now I'll take these two over to the layout and put them in place and then I have to cut a whole bunch of uh, planks 
to glue on it. Um, and I have a bunch of strip wood that's already stained. I just have to cut a whole bunch of small pieces. Well, as you can see, <laughs> I got my uh, rope up there and trust me, you did not want to watch me do that. <laughs> it was, uh, it took me quite a while. It was a bear to get in there, but um, I think this is going to look great if I can get these boards put in there. Um, so I've got, as I dump it all, uh, I've got a bunch of boards um, cut to length. And now I'm just going to attempt to get these all glued on there. Um, I'm using white Elmer's glue. I know it's probably going to be hard for you to, to see, but... Well, as you can tell already, <laughs> this is going to take quite a while. Like anything, uh, when you first start, it's new, so it takes a little while to catch on to it. But then after a while, you get the hang of it and it speeds up. It took me a long time to build the first side, but then when I went to the second side, it went a lot quicker. I have three different width planks. So I just kind of keep switching between them. I think it looks nice to have a variety of, of size. And I did, I cut them to different lengths also. I'm hoping that you can see this good. Um, I tried to adjust the camera so that you could really see what I was doing. Sometimes though, I just don't know until I go to edit what it's going to look like. Okay, we're halfway there. Halfway. Then after this is all dried, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a small brush and put a dark stain on the end of all these boards on both sides. Because right now, because I cut it, it's just the bare wood. And uh, it needs to be stained. And I think it would look darker on the ends just because of the weather. Okay, I think that is it. Let me zoom in for you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. That was my first attempt at making a rope bridge. Um, in hindsight, I should have stained my rope first. Um, after I took photographs of it, I noticed that it just looks too white to me. So I'm gonna to have to go back and put a stain over some of the rope. All right, well, thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy modeling everyone. <laughs>